Hey guys, it's John of Figurative Arc, and this is part two in a series looking at the VSDC Free Video Editor. So in part one, we started a new project and I showed you how to create text. In this one, we're going to be looking at adding video and how to cut and splice it. So let's go ahead and pick up where we left off last time. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over to Scenes here. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to create a new scene. You see it drops down Scene 1. I'm going to click on it. And the reason I did that is I want a completely new scene to start adding some video. How I'm going to start doing that is I'm going to go to Add Objects. I'm going to go down to Video. It is very slowly going to pop up. And I'm going to scroll down here and find the fantastic video clip that I am going to use with you right there. Now what's happening is it's going to ask you, where do you want to put this video in this timeline? You can have it start at the scene beginning at zero. I'm actually going to have it start at three seconds into the scene. And the reason I'm doing that is I want there to be a little gap between the credits that we started at the beginning of this short film and now this. All right, so now we've got our video. So let's say, let's say that we want to cut out the end of this video. Really simple, the ending is I hover over this and I'm going to drag this to right there. I've just cut off the end of the, of the video. Okay, so that's pretty simple. All right, well, what about if I want to cut in the beginning or in the middle or whatever? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the end of this clip I'm going to go back. Now I'm going to add another video clip. I'm going to go back into Add Objects, Video. And now we're going to find our fantastic butterfly. Okay, These are different scenes uh, from a short film of mine called Painted Light. Uh, it's somewhat arranged differently than what you're seeing, but it has some of the same videos. I'm clicking on from manual position. I want it to start uh, right here. Actually, from cursor position, I'll do that instead. I'm going to click on OK. And then sometimes this, you have to pull it out to fit the frame because you can actually put frames within frames if you wanted to. In other words, I could um, make this smaller and I could have appear like multiple frames if I wanted to, but for this, I'm just gonna fill the whole frame like that. Now what I'm gonna do is click on this. I'm gonna go right up here to cutting and splicing. And it's gonna give me a little preview uh, thing right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I know that I'm going to cut the beginning of this film clip, and you'll understand why in a second. I'm going to add marker. Then I'm going to click here and start selection. Now I'm going to go down here and start playing it. Now what I found in the playbacks uh, with this recorder, I don't know if this is my processor, but it's very jumpy. So just know that when you... Uh, finally convert this video, it's not going to be jumpy like in the preview. But as you can see uh, from this, I'm cutting out the beginning because a butterfly flew away and I was trying to find him with the camera. Okay, I'm going to stop, let's say there. I want to cut that out. Okay, so now I'm going to say add marker. I'm going to say end selection. And then I'm going to say I want to cut that. Cut it out, right out. Apply changes. I'm going to leave the, these two, the first and the third one, uh, clicked. Okay. And there it is. So, voila. So, now you've got uh, two scenes, one that you cut the end. Uh, same thing, you 
could happen if you wanted to cut in the middle. You would just use those markers in the same way. So that's uh, how to add video and splice it. In the next video, we're going to be looking at transitions. How do I add transitions between this scene and this scene, as well as how to process this image? Because this image doesn't look exactly how I want it to look. And just like you would process a photograph, you can also process the video clips. And so in part three, I will show you how to do that. If you like videos like that, like this, click on subscribe below. And you can follow when new videos are added in this series. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.